What's up, fellow adventurers? Spires04 here, coming back to another for your review. Today's review is on the Bandai Anguirus 2004. And let me just say, this is my only Anguirus figure, and uh, right now it's the dominant Anguirus figure in my collection. In other words, right now it's my favorite. Uh, history appear in Final Wars. Well, if you go by Anguirus history, then first appear in 19. 1955, Godzilla Raids Again, then, uh, I think Destroy All Monsters, then, then, uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan, and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, what, wasn't seen during the Heisei series, but returned in the, in Final Wars, but was supposed to appear in GMK. Okay, so, Sculpt. Sculpt on here is really nice. I really like it. And, uh, this is kind of how I see Anguirus. I mean, I know there's Shoah Anguirus fans out there, but I kind of like the Sh Final Wars Anguirus design more. It's the first design I saw, so therefore, detail. Detail in here is really nice. I really like this figure. And uh, this is just a great figure. Articulation. Head moves 360. Arms move possibly 360. And I was right. Legs move 360. Although one thing, you can't put him in like that Bandai creation pose because this kind of looks stupid and Anguirus trying to destroy everything. And the tail is a Glucio and I'm not breaking the Glucio. So that was history, detail, sculpt, articulation. Now size comparison. First off, I'm going to compare it to uh, Gamera and Gomera. And uh, they work well. Now to compare them to Loads of variations of his best friend, Godzilla. 2000. Final Wars. Heisei. Another 2004. Twenty fourteen. And, uh, he fits well with them. So, yeah. This is a great figure. I highly recommend it. Uh... This figure gets, um, 10 out of 10. Because I really like this figure. And, uh, yeah, it's a great figure. 10 out of 10, that's all for this time. I hope you enjoy this review. There's more to us than meets the eye. Optimus, we know your catchphrase. So subscribe.